Your number one RC information source, rccaraction.com. Max Amps, we know how fast you want to go. Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Team Losi. We're now going to talk about hub spacing or overall wheelbase. Um, again, it's a really, really simple adjustment, uh, but but a lot of times overlooked. Um, you know, when people when people try to dial in their car, it's always pistons and oil and springs. Um, but there's a lot of power in tuning your vehicle with all the the small changes. Um, the hub spacing it does a lot of things. Not only does it change the amount of dog bone angle. Um, which, which really gives you the amount of lockup and forward bite, um, but it also changes how, how quick the vehicle will, will transfer weight. When the hubs are all the way back, it'll transfer weight a lot slower, it'll be smoother, um, the car will have more on-power steering because you have less dog bone lockup. Um, overall, on, on the 8.2.0, we generally run the hubs back. Um, that gives the car a lot of corner speed. It sits on the rear, um, coming out of turns, it's really fluid through the bumps. Um, but if you need a little bit more forward bite, you just remove the rear hinge pin, take one or two spacers, put it behind the hub, and, and you'll really, really be amazed at how much of a difference you have in forward bite. Um, and another thing that the dog bone lockup will do by making the wheelbase shorter is it, it really supports the rear end. It makes it stiffer. Um, it won't bottom out in the faces of jumps or holes. Um, so, so it's something that's very, very powerful and uh, something that's very easy to change and, and try. Thanks for watching and listening to how to tune your vehicle with hub spacing and overall wheelbase. Your number one RC information source, rccaraction.com.